It is in fact time for the semifinal. Spawning in the lower left-hand corner of Crimson Court, we have a classic. Playing, of course, for Twisted Minds. His opponent in the upper right, it is the Zerg for Talon Dark. Here for another banger. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Enjoying this week's KSL. Lots of good players in there. I was worried we had low signups until the last few minutes, and then all of a sudden, a bunch of people showed up and checked in, and I, I appreciate that, because the games have been quite good so far. Um, I hope if you're watching this on YouTube, you will consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that. I've been bad about uploading lately, but you know if I upload, it's only the good stuff. Like Dark versus Classic. And I'm guessing that this video is going to be 31 minutes long. I'm saying that now, live. And we're going to see. We're going to see what it comes out to. I'm just going <laughs> to... If the games end up taking less than 31 minutes, I'll just... Just edit it to play like the, the last game again or something until it's 31 minutes long. I'm, so I'm right no matter what. <laughs> Just edit in six minutes of dead space. Or alternately, the games go longer than 31 minutes. I'll just cut off the last game. Easy peasy, no problem. Streamer is always right. But excited to see what these players... Uh, give us today obviously we've seen a lot of dark versus classic over the years both of these guys have been playing starcraft 2 for over a decade at this point competitively and uh, they might they might play each other occasionally dark might have knocked classic out at the 2019 world championship that was Honestly, kind of a sad time. Classic was was looking so good against Rogue. Did some fancy stuff. Such a cool match. And then Dark was like, no, dude, I'm, I'm here to ruin storylines. Excuse me, my name is Dark. And what I do is ruin storylines. God, when it was Dark versus Clem um, in the finals of... That was uh, Atlanta, right? In the finals of DreamHack Atlanta. We were watching it. And I was there for that one. And Clem looked so good against Serral. It was insane. Like, Clem looked unstoppable, unbeatable. He looked like the best. But, man, he went up against Dark after that. And just at the start of the, game, of the first game, I was thinking, if anyone could just win here against the player who has so far been playing the best, it would be Dark. Dark would absolutely be the person to ruin the storyline we had all been building up the entire event. Because that's the kind of thing Dark does. He's he's great at spoiling that kind of stuff. We'll see. We don't have, we don't have any big storylines here in this case. Actually, there is one storyline that I am following along with right now. Um, Ordinary, who used to go by Chance. Pretty solid player. But he took out Trap uh, in the first round, which I was surprised by. And he's now up 1-0 against Shin. So I'm going to keep an eye on that one. Uh, but let's keep an eye on this game here because Dark expanded forward and Classic expanded forward. And Dark said, hey, my creep is really close. What if I just push my queens across and make a bunch of lings? Can you defend that and take your third? And the answer is no. Absolutely not. There's the cancel. The Void right desperately just trying to kill as many of these lings as possible, but needs to not die to the queen. <laughs> Void right down. In the meantime, the uh, Oracle did get quite a few kills and went over and got five drone kills. Dark could not built a lot of drones, so losing five is a bit painful. 
But, I mean, he forced the cancel on Classic's third base. Classic was trying to expand forward. He was trying to take that Rich Vespian geyser base. He's going to go for it again, which feels insane to me. And now, oh my god, he's got a Tempest on the way out. He's got Tectonic Destabilizers being made. Classic, he's opening up into Tempest with this. Obviously, that little move out for Dark, it really didn't cost him very much. Like a handful of lings. Um, he did lose the drones because of it, but again, forcing that cancel is really, really nice. Killing the Void Ray is just extra nice. And now Classic still doesn't have a third. It's halfway done. Dark is going to see that he is, in fact, trying to take this third again. Uh, and there's just a bunch of probes in the middle here that are going to go down. One, two, three, four, just like that. Oh, my God, the Zealot. The Zealot walked out of the door. It gets back in. Only a fueling sneak, and I cannot believe that Zealot left its post but was able to get back in there in time dark splitting up the links to be as annoying as possible and he's gonna get another uh probe kill before those links go down forces some lost mining time as well and, oh what are these probes doing they tried to go back to mining and eight probes go down just like that just a handful of links there for dark but some really good control and Dark puts himself very far ahead economically. This third base is finally done for Classic. He's got no probes to saturate it. And the Lings are going to try to come back in and deal with this. In the meantime, Tempest are pushing forward, trying to pick off some of these queens. There are a lot of queens here. Spore Crawler going to move into position as well. One queen does fall. Tectonic Destabilizers is done. So I think it only takes five Tempest to one shot that. Speaking of five Tempest, there are five Tempest here. Or a two-shot, or rather. I think Five Tempest does one-shot a queen. And there she goes. That queen was already low, so only four needed to turn around for that. And the queens are starting to fall. Now there is a Corruptor out. Oh, my God. Classic's just going to try to take down this base. That Tectonic Destabilizer is going to allow him to do it. One more shot off on it, though. He's going to go for the recall, but he loses one of the recalling Tempest. The other one gets missed by the recall. And he loses four of his five Tempests. Now, yes, he killed a lot of Queens. He killed that third base. That's very painful for Dark. Uh, but Dark doesn't really have anything that shoots up. I actually think these Corruptors could just kill this base. There's only two Stalkers here, dude. He's just going to fly into the main base. He could kill this main base if he wanted to. That's exactly what he's going to do. These two Stalkers are not going to do it in time. A third one warps in. But look at how fast those hit points go down, man. One Corruptor does fall for that. That's an excellent trade for Dark. Uh, and his third base is going back up, but he's already got a fourth. He just sent the drones right on over there. He is doing just fine. And now it is two bases to three once again, as Classic is going to be forced to rebuild his main. Just long distance mining into his natural in the meantime. Very painful position for Classic to be in right now. Oh my god. And it's off cooldown. There's more stalkers here now, but not enough to actually stop this. The shield battery going to try to hold on, but it's not going to be able to do it. It's not enough healing. And while a few more corruptors fall, Dark doesn't need these corruptors anymore. They're not doing anything. Nothing's being built from the Stargates. So these corruptors, this is the best thing they can do, and it, it's a really good thing. Classic is waiting desperately for enough minerals to, to rebuild this, but his main nexus still isn't done. Oh my god, his income is like nothing right now. He is effectively on one base mining with all these long-distance mining probes. Dark, in the meantime, is just... He's just boosting himself ahead. He's got uh, plus one flyer attacks almost done, but he's also got plus one melee and missile attacks. He's got roaches coming out, seven more overlords being built. It looks like he's just going to go for a big swell of units as those overlords pop. He's up 60 supply right now. Classic's ground army is basically nothing. The stasis trap doesn't do anything. He doesn't even have storm yet. These high Templar are sitting ducks. And Classic tried to go for a cheeky move, but oh my God, he's gonna lose the natural base as well. Oh, that's three Nexuses these Corruptors killed. Immortal's doing their best. Storm is done. He's gonna storm the Roaches and Ravagers, but I just don't think it's gonna be enough. Maybe with the Stalkers coming in here, it will be. The Corruptors will finish off that of uh, Oracle. And it does look like Classic will hold. 
but he lost a lot doing it. He lost most of his immortals. It looks like that last one might fall here. And he saves it with the Blink Stalkers. But Dark is just rebuilding. He's just remaxing. He's still up 50 supply off the back of that. This Nexus, not exist, non-existent. This Nexus, non-existent. Classic is on one base mining with a, just a ton of probes long distance mining right now. He's going for the counterattack, but he is down 50 army supply. And even with Roaches, I think Dark's just going to be able to hold on here. Down goes the Immortal. Stalkers can only hold on for so long. And it looks like Dark is going to take game number one in this best of three. Again, Classic trying to go for something a little bit uh, interesting there. But just wasn't, just, it just didn't pay off. He wasn't quite able to get that strat off the ground. Dark doing a really good job using the tech that he had available to him. It was really just lings and queens to knock down that base. It's a tough thing to do. I think a lot of Zerg players would have been like, ah, I don't have enough. Don't want to overcommit to this. Dark's not really afraid of that. He's not really afraid of overcommitment, you know? And he's got like a wife and kids. You know, I, I assume that on like the third date he proposed. He's just not, he's not afraid of commitment. Just like in StarCraft. As we all know, love is in fact a lot like StarCraft. You can't be afraid to, um, to lose. Can't be afraid to love. Can't be afraid to just queue up again. You know, not every game goes like it's supposed to. Don't be afraid to try again. And trying again in this game here on Ghost River is going to be our Protoss player. In the upper left, he's down 0-1, but he's not giving up. He's not giving up. It's classic. Wow. I don't know why the camera decided to go over there. <laughs> His opponent in the upper right-hand corner, it is dark. He won't give up on this game. He won't give up on this series. And he won't give up on you, chat. How many other analogies can we make between StarCraft and love? You have to be able to move your fingers really fast. Um, <clears throat> more actions are good, but you don't always need more actions. Sometimes it's about how effective your actions are. You could have low APM and still get a high rank. Uh, there's there's merit to getting good at one specific strategy, but I would say the best players have a wide range of strategies. Just like in love. Um, I'm not sure. Not sure what else we've got. Dark sending two overlords over here. He really wants to know what Classic's up to. He doesn't trust him. He's like, I want to see. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about the tech that you are building. I want to know. Please show me. Classic's like, nah, dude. Nah, dude, my Stargate's over here. You can't see it. He's doing the John Cena hand in front of the face. You can't see me. Turns out John Cena was a Dark Templar the whole time. Here's another one like love though. If your strategy relies 
on hiding things. Probably not a very robust strategy. And you should only hide things temporarily in love, like a surprise party. Or, or maybe if you're, if you're you know, not quite ready to, to talk about something yet, it is okay to, to have something like that. You know, Classic wasn't ready to talk about the Oracle. But now he's going to throw a surprise party for Dark. Surprise! I'm here to kill more drones. Uh, and Dark is surprised. Look at that. And he is going to... Uh, he's going to kill a lot of drones with this Oracle. Oh, my God. Second Queen pops out. But that is eight drones going out of the Oracle. The Adept before that got two more. The ten drones going down. And suddenly Dark, his economy, is in the dumps. Classic just going to take a third base off the back of this, and it turns out uh, hiding the Stargate from your opponent, it, it, it is a good strategy. Oh my god, it's a Fleet Beacon too. Classic, he's doing it again, baby. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. He could have just played this normally. But no. Why would you do that when you could just give us give us some tempests I don't know if Dark's gonna be expecting this I mean clearly it just happened last game so it is fresh in his mind but at the same time if it just happened last game, I feel like you're you're not thinking about this. You know, Dark was probably thinking it's unlikely to happen. He's got a Baneling Nest on the way. It, it feels like he was expecting a Glaive's follow-up. Um, and Classic, ah, I feel like he should keep this Tempest back at home. But it looks like the Overlord's going to be able to come in anyways. So, oh, he tries to hide it, but I'm pretty sure Dark just turned that. I think he knows now. He's got the Queens going down here to try to hold on against these first couple of Tempests coming in. First couple of Tempests are not that scary. Classic. Classic. Eating some damage on that Tempest. Dark looking for a way in with the Lings, but Classic seems good back at home, at least for now, but Banelings being morphed. Dark's going to try to counterattack on the ground with the Lings and Banes while just holding on back at home against the Tempest with the Queens. Of course, Lings and Banes are not going to be very useful there. And this Tempest so far really haven't done anything. They killed an Overlord, but back at home, the Banelings are diving through. Shield Battery is going to get blasted open. Some probes do get hit, but they won't go down. More Banelings, though, coming in. More being morphed. There's three more walking forward. Stalker's going to try to hold the wall. The Oracle is still on. And it's going to get one of those Banelings immediately. The other one's trying to dive through and get on top of the probes. The probes are running away, but they're running right into more Banelings. Oh, no! And they get blown to smithereens. 13 probes going down. In the meantime, it looks like the Tempest. Yeah, one did fall. Classic, more focused back at home. Maybe didn't pull those Tempests back in time. He has killed three, four Queens now, though. Gets the fifth one as well. No transfuses here uh, to save these queens. Tectonic Destabilizers is finished, and GG gets called. Dark taps out. I guess the Lings and Banes just didn't get enough done on the other side of the map. And uh, those Tempests, despite one falling, ended up chewing through uh, Dark's defenses. I'm a little surprised by that tap out, to be honest with you. But GG. We're going to be heading to Oceanborn for game three. Just to keep you guys up to date, Ordinary and Shin are also on game three right now. It's one to one. Honestly, it looks like a relatively even game, just based on what I'm seeing here on the Cranky Ducklings channel.
Yeah, I don't know, dude. It would be insane if Ordinary got that upset. It would be genuinely crazy. Who isn't readied up? Somebody in this party is not rated up. All right, it was Dave. Looks like Dave causing problems again. The cat's invisible. The cat is unfortunately invisible in his in his nice little box that he doesn't like to sit in anymore. Maybe if I move the box. It'd be a more tempting proposition for him. The problem is he has a better box. And by a better box, I mean a box that he has torn to shreds. The only thing holding that box together right now is one piece of tape and the hopes and dreams of my cat. That box is so destroyed. I've never seen a more destroyed box in my life. Oh, except for at your mom's last night. Oh! God damn. I had to take a knee for that one. Just like your mom did last night. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I can't. Can't help it, chat. I can't help it. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta tone it down a little bit here. We gotta cast some StarCraft. Spawning in the upper left hand corner of Oceanborn, we have our Zerg player for Talon Esports. It's dark. His opponent in the lower right hand corner of the Protoss. It is Twisted Minds Classic. Ah. Oh. All right. Game number three between these two. Classic just going gate expand. It looks like... I don't know, did Classic send a probe across the map? He did not. So he did not try to block Dark's natural base. Dark, I assume, happy to take that. Do you know how hard it is? It's it's uh, this this is it's killing me. You know how how hard it is to not continue to make your mom jokes once you've started the brain working that way. I thought of two in the last thirty seconds. They were both bangers too. You know who else is a banger? Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see? Do you, I can't. I, I, I can't shut it off. Once that switch is turned on, it's just like you're, you, you see, it's right there. The jokes write themselves. 
And it, it feels so good to say it. Sometimes you just gotta let it out. So I'm, I apologize. If if there's more your mom jokes during this this cast, I'm gonna apologize in advance. I'm sure Chat's mom is a is a, a lovely collective woman, but for the purposes of this broadcast. Bad things might be said. Ah. Well, at least I could talk a little bit about StarCraft. That, that'll help keep the your mom chokes at bay. A couple oracles coming out of Classic here. We'll see if he goes for Tempest again. I, I would feel it feels kind of insane, but. Insane things are happening, chat. I'm going to keep you up to date right now. Ordinary just defeated Shin. He took the upset. Ordinary beat Trap and then Shin to get to the semifinals. That's some incredible play. Um, Ordinary used to go by Chance. You might be more familiar with Chance. Um, also, I hate these walls that Classic has been doing. And I know why he's doing them. Dark's going to sneak in a couple of legs here. It is obviously cheaper. He's skip a gateway. But uh, very, I very don't like them. Now, the lings get in. So they would have seen a fleet begin in a second Stargate. Instead... It is Forge and Twilight Council here for Classic. A more standard follow-up. Uh, more like what I would expect. Now, Adept's trying to sneak in and get some drone damage here, but good defense from Dark. They don't find any damage there. The triple Oracle, though, going to come in. Uh, Queen stays safe with the Sport Crawler. Blink and plus one now on the way for Classic. And uh, Dark able to get in with those lings. He knows. He knows. He scouted. He took down that Stalker. And he got right on in that hole. At the front of Classic's wall. And we see Dark going for a quick infestation pit. So now that Dark gets to do what he wants to do. He's going to be heading straight into, uh, straight into Hive, it seems. Now that it's a more nor normal, standard macro game here. Oracle Shark through again. Get three more drone kills. That's seven so far. Pretty nice. Or classic. I don't think anything's um, really favoring one player or the other here. Seems like a pretty even game so far. But for some reason, I'm liking Dark's position. Oh, I thought for sure he was just going to dive straight to Hive, but no, that is a Nidus Worm and five Swarm Hosts coming out. He's going to be sending all the Locusts over to classic side of the map. I like this move quite a bit. He's going to have to defend the uh, Stalker-Oracle combo here. But if these units are out here, that means Classic's not back at home to defend. See if a Nidus Worm can get out there. Oh, big stasis trap there. Catches a lot of Dark's Lings. First Nidus Worm going out. More Stalkers coming in to reinforce. Dark needs to be able to defend here. Queen's getting a lot of damage on them. Not a lot of transfuses left, but there's that first Nidus. All the Lings are dead, though. These ones about to come out of that stasis. They're not going to get much done. Most of them are just going to die. Swarm Host back on the other side of the map. Going to pop their Locust and get back in the Nidus Swarm. Classic is going to take down this fourth base. Is he going to keep on pressuring? There are Roaches out now. And the Locusts are getting in. They're going to go for probes. They're going to get a lot of probes. Can they target down the Nexus also? Probably because they're Locusts and they're really, really good. Maybe too good. Are they too good? 
Are Locus too good? It's the question we have to ask here. But drones being forced to be pulled on the other side of the map. Dark feeling the pressure here from the stalkers. But I think the oracles went down. Which means Ling reinforcements could be very strong here. The stalkers are doing a great job. They've killed 19 drones. So despite losing a bunch of drones, uh, probes rather, on the other side of the map, Classic maintains a worker lead. He is down a base though. Oh, actually, I say that, but his fourth is done. So technically he's on even Nexuses. He's gonna kill the Nidus Worm. Dark is just, he's just sending it right now. Just full sending it. But Classic's also full sending it. They're gonna run into each other in the middle of the map. The Ravagers are not done yet. Dark is gonna fight this out. He wants those Ravagers to finish. But Classic sees his opportunity. He's gonna kill so many roaches. The Locusts are gonna be able to push him away and help buy time for these Ravagers to finish morphing, but that, that was not how Dark wanted that to go. <laughs> Kills a couple of Locusts and then just blinks away. Uh, High Templar are out, I don't believe. Oh no, Storm is done, it's researched. Classic already has that, he's just waiting for energy on those High Templar and that's gonna help him a ton against those Locusts. And it feels like Classic has actually put himself in a great spot. Dark is ahead in supply, but it's like 20 army supply of roaches. And that's, well, actually, it's really 20 army supply of swarm hosts. Very supply dense units are the, uh, are the swarm hosts. He's got six of them. I think he lost a couple, actually. I'm not sure when that happened. Yeah, I lost one. The problem here for Dark is that Classic, his, his natural base is done. He's ahead a few workers. He's on four bases. He's got Storm. He could get into other tech. I think right now, Classic is just focused on keeping his unit count up. Um, Dark does have a penchant for just counterattacking very quickly. But yeah, Dark's position, I feel like, is a little rough. The only thing he has going for him is Army Supply, but he's not using these Swarmos at all. They're, they're stuck at home right now. Nidus Swarm is going to go down kind of near the fourth base. Classic almost scouted it, but not quite. We'll see if those Swarm can get anything done out here. Again, it's only six of them. Really not that many. And send the Locust forward, but the uh, Stalkers are here. And they're just going to get the kills. No problem. Easy peasy. And now this Nidus has been spotted. Classic's gonna start working on the uh, working on the worm. He knows how to work that worm. But speaking of which, Dark, he's got another worm coming up. He's got more worms than you might think. Got a couple of infestors out as well. I'm trying to lock down these stalkers. A very stalker heavy army right now. Let's see if he can get him. Oh, that is a beautiful fungal. Storm does go down. And it looks like Classic's going to save at least most of those units. Swarm Host, in the meantime, going to pop out near this fourth again. This time, the Stalkers are not there. They're attacking. These Locusts can get in here. I don't think six Swarm Hosts full of, full of Locusts can actually kill this Nexus. It looks like he's just going to go for probes, and he will get quite a lot of them as the Stalkers and High Templar keep pressuring. Ooh, some more Stalkers come up. We'll target down a few of these high-value units. The beautiful fungal going down though. Oh my god, the stasis trap catches a huge amount of roaches, a couple of hydras as well. Another beautiful fungal here, but these fungals are not getting the best value in the world. It's like fungal and then Dark can't really take a great fight after that. But he's about to get these roaches back though. They're in the middle of the fight. The infestors, I believe, all got popped. The base goes down. Dark is desperately trying to hold on. I think he's taking a pretty good fight here, actually. He's gonna gun down that Archon before it finishes. The Hydra's adding quite a lot of DPS in. And Dark takes a really nice fight. He loses his fourth base, which is huge, but he's got more Locusts over here dealing damage to Classic's economy. He's gonna try to target the base down this time. Super Shield Battery turns on. Is that enough to save it with a few Stalkers? No, Jesus Christ, that DPS is insane. And now Classic down 40 army supply back on even bases he's ahead in workers but it doesn't matter really on three bases especially with the mined out mains 
Dark doing a great job fighting himself, uh, fighting his way back into this game. I'm really glad I don't even have to make the your mom jokes. I actually just say something mildly provocative, and I know that those of you who are on my level, it's just in your brain. I put it in your brain. Just like I put last night. Okay, um, <clears throat> Dark is moving forward here. Oh, he built more swarm hosts. That's what happened. Wait, did he just run into his own biles? Dark! Oh, Jesus. Locusts are going to dive into the natural here. Quite a few locusts, but there are some cannons and a shield battery going to help hold on. So not too much damage getting done altogether from that late wave of locusts. But Dark is back on the offensive a little bit, despite running into his own biles. And what looked like a really nice game for Classic, I think he just... Honestly, I think he might have overcommitted to the Blink Stalkers. It felt like he needed to get some other tech out, maybe. Uh, those Blink Stalkers against the Hydras that Dark mixed in, against a few Fungals. Just didn't end up paying off. Now Dark is roaming around on the map with uh, mostly Roach Ravager, but he is getting some more Hydras out. Does he have... I think he's got Hydras in here. Oh, that's just Swarm Host. Okay. Never mind. I got confused. He does have a... a Lurker down on the way, though. Oh, my God. There's so many Swarm Hosts. A few of them do get caught here. But that is 18 Swarm Hosts. The Locusts are coming into fight. And the rest of the army is here for Dark. Storm's going down some big storms right now. This is still not a great fight for Classic, I think. And he's going to just back up and run away from these Locusts. Try not to take any more damage from them. Well, a few Stalkers getting caught as well. Another Night of Swarm goes down. Dark got the pressure on. He's being really, really cost efficient. Let's take a look at the resources lost. Yeah, it is in favor of Dark by almost 2,000 resources. This Night of Swarm does get found, so we'll get taken out. But Swarm Host just come out of the one in the middle again. Locust ready to pop. The army is going to be here once again. But even with Storms, I mean, these Locusts are going to be able to get some trades. And the Roaches and Ravagers are nearby as well. Classic. Can't really take a fight that well here. It looks like it is going to be good enough to push this back for now. Another night is pops, but he'll be able to go clean that up. Fun fact, if you guys don't wear headphones or play this game super often, you can actually hear the direction the Nidus Worm is in if you have, like, good directional headphones. Um, the Nidus sound is directional. That's why Classic was so easily able to find out where that Nidus was both times. If you're ever wondering... That is the reason. Now, there are some Lurkers on the way here for Dark. But are Lurkers the right call against... Is that 10? 10 Immortals? Okay. It's going to be 9 Immortals here. It's so Immortal heavy, though. And Classic, he's going to take down that fourth again. This is the third time that base went down. These drones are trapped back here. Dark's attempted fifth is going to fall. And Dark is just full sending it to the other side of the map. Now we've got some Zealots going to run by into the natural. Classic is going to go for a recall to get the core of his army back home. Uh, looks like it went back to the natural. The Swarm Hosts are here, so they're going to pop their Locust. Going to send the Locust down towards the fourth. Oh, they're actually not going anywhere right now. I just going to try to target this base down. They will get it with the Biles at the very last second. And it looks like the Locust... Oh, I think the Locust need to target this base down. And yeah, they will get that base as well. So two bases fall over here. Dark, in the meantime, lost 29 drones. He's down to 27 workers off the back of this. And really, he's only on a about one mining base, maybe one and a half. And so much of his army is bleeding out, trying to retreat out of here. Drops a couple of biles. to at least let the last few Ravagers and Hydras get away. There are some lurkers back at home. But remember, Classic, he still has like nine immortals here. And yes, he did lose two bases, but he's on 61 probes, so his long-distance mining ability is not too bad. He does need to bring his observers, though. Four observers just sitting back at home. Dark going to try to retake this fourth base. He has droned up a little bit. Try to get some mining back together. Um, let's see what the Swarm Host count is. Still at 18, so a lot of potential damage there with the Swarm Host. The War Prism's gonna spot this, this Nidus, but... Locusts are gonna pop out. 
Really nice job there from Dark, not springing those Locusts immediately on the Warping In unit. Yeah, he's doing really good, just dropping a couple Locusts here and there. The army will be in position to mitigate the damage here. Right now, Dark just wants to keep this army back at home as long as possible. Uh, obviously, getting damage done would be really nice as well. But he just wants to keep the army back at home. The problem for Dark is that Classic's army is just much better than his. Um, I don't know that any amount of Lurkers fixes this. Dark is trying to get up to the highest amount of Lurkers he possibly can. He's at 16. That's a very impressive amount. But with Storms available and with 11 Immortals, it's going to be a tight position for Dark. Sport crawlers here do make it a little bit more complicated, right? Because Classic is going to need that vision from the Observers. He's got to be careful with them so that he can actually see these Lurkers. He wants to push in. He wants to try to get some more damage done right now. It's still dicey. This is a bit of a choke point against 16 Lurkers. The Immortal's going to dive in first, but... Whew. I, was, I think that was two Observers just went down right there. In fact... Yeah, there's, there's no Observers left. That was all of the Observers died. Some Locust going to pop and try to get on top of some of these units. Lurkers are hitting from afar as well. And Classic's just got to back out of there. Now, his economy is and has been better pretty much this whole game. But Dark is finally back mining this fourth. Because it's died three times already, there's still plenty of mining at this base. Classic does kind of need a fifth soon. Classic, though, he's going to catch this Nidus that was being attempted here. Uh, he's going to fight it out against the Locust a little bit. Yeah, his Locust not getting anything done. Turns out Immortals are really good against Locusts. In fact, lo they're really good against everything on the ground. I love this play from Dark, though. He's got the Nidus trying to come in here. I think he's going to have to back out. Ooh, uh, Classic is counterattacking. It doesn't look like Classic has a ton of detection here. He's got a couple of observers nearby. These two Tempests are doing their best. He's just going to go for the full on all in. Now, Nidus is available here, so Dark could just go home. And he's going to send a lot of stuff back home. Oh, he's going to try to jump on top of this army a little bit, get some free damage while Classic's not paying attention. He is going to lose that third, and that's going to separate him from the fourth base. In the meantime, Dark, he's going to dive back in here with the Locust. Not really focusing it down, but he will get that base. Uh, a lot of this stuff going down. The Queen's trying to fight it out against the Tempest right now. Dark transfusing the best he can. He doesn't have a lot of anti-air, so double Tempest production is not something Dark can deal with super well right now. He's got six more Hydras on the way. But Dark just lost both of these bases. And even though he's got the Worker lead right now, if Classic can hold on to this base, he could get some probes over there. Kind of a big if, though. Because there, uh, <laughs> there's Locust coming in for this base now as well. He goes for the recall. He knows he needs to save this base. Beautiful storms there. And he is absolutely going to kill that. Take down the Nidus as well. Classic holds on back at home. Takes some damage, but he holds on. Let's take stock of this game right now. Dark still has 17 Swarm Hosts. He's got 14 Lurkers. That's big. He has almost no mining, though. His long-distance mining is exclusively from this base. I I actually think he should be sending them here. This is so much closer, and I know it's a little bit more exposed, maybe? But it's so much closer. His mining is insanely bad right now. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and take that base. going to try to retake that fourth. But I, I really think this base is actually better here. He almost has no reason to take this base over this one. I guess this one's closer to classics, but like, I don't know, man. Maybe it's a little easier to defend. Not that it's gone super well for that fourth base this whole time. Locust going to dive in. They will kill the natural nexus. Doesn't really matter. Getting the fleet beacon here would be big. Oh, he's going to depower it, but not kill it. I actually think that might be a problem. Killing that would have been really nice at this stage of the game. A lot of these long distance mining drones are going down here. Dark needs to pull them back. Got a lot of lurkers. And there are three observers here for Classic. Oh, the Hydras went for the counterattack. They brought a Ravager as well, trying to kill all the rest of these probes. A lot of them will fall. This base is going to go down. 
However, Dark doesn't have a Nidus over here. He's got no gas. <gasps> Dark has no gas right now. He can't Nidus out of here. So these units are just on... They're just on a suicide mission right now. The fact that he can't knight us out of here is, is actually so bad. He's going to try to go save these units. He's got lurkers on the high ground. Swarm host coming in. The rest of the probes fall. Classic down to three workers. Oh, the Tempest fighting some Hydras. It's not ideal for them. Locust going to try to push this army back and get the lurkers into position. Dark is fighting this out. It's so close. Where are the observers? There is one with the army right now. There's four observers still out, though. Ooh, Locust do get a couple of shots in, I think, on that immortal. Hydra count is only at eight right now. That's really important against the Tempest. Oh, the immortal's fighting up the hill, though, against the Lurkers. Good play forward there from Classic. He's going to get two Lurkers for that. I don't think this is enough lurkers to push back these immortals. Now, I actually think the immortals can just A-move this. Only three lurkers left. He's trying to burrow. He's trying to be fancy, but the observers are here. The Tempests are here. And Dark, he's down a lot of supply right now. All he really has are those swarm hosts. There's nine swarm hosts left. And that's the majority of his army. And they're just not going to be able to cut the mustard. The Locust will push this back for now. But I think Classic has done it. I think he's held on. I mean, he's got no mining. I guess Dark has more mining. But that's that's it. GG. Dark just doesn't have an army. Long distance mining from the fourth is not going to cut it. And Classic takes the 2-1 victory over Dark to move on to the finals. Dark not getting to the finals of this, this week's KSL. Shocking twist in this bracket.